my approach to the movie was to do a stage play at the same time doing a movie, at the same time doing television. In other words, I used all the things I learned in all my life to do this movie. The stuff was so unique and uh, very, very different because Malcolm Willis was uh, very, very creative. I think the greatest part of the movie and that attracted everyone to the movie because we had over 100 people involved was the uniqueness and the imagination. For instance, wardrobe and makeup had a real challenge, you know, to, because everybody's playing cats and they're doing their best with the language, you know, the best they can. It's a bundle of kids, they're very talented, they are going in and doing it to the best of their ability, but having fun doing it by singing and dancing and tackling the English language. Mason Lawrence, who's playing the lead here, is a fabulous actor. I'm very lucky to be able to get him. Faye Sloan and did put him in a fantastic outfit and the makeup on him was great. But the main thing is, he kind of held the, the movie together. He was like the glue. Together with uh, Victoria Goodman, and she came from uh, Germany like half a year ago. It's an ordinary concentrated uh, person who is very persistent, uh, which you need to become an actress, who wants to be successful. She has uh, the quality of becoming the character. She was the character all the time. All the big actresses and so on, that's what they try to do is become the character, and she did. She's got enormous talent, not only as an actress, but also as a singer. Todd Kent, who played Captain LaCroix, and uh, Todd Kent uh, just does a marvelous job. And it's in the beginning of the movie, so it gives the movie a real lift, but this guy is a, a great actor. Blake Bentley is an actor in progress. He's a stand-up comic, he's very funny, but he has definitely got talent. He had a big part here that was very difficult to play because he's very, very wordy, and he actually struggled with it, but he worked on it very, very hard and eventually got a very good character and believable character. There's a good future for him as long as he keeps working. Heather is, uh, is one of my students and she's a kind of a wild, interesting person. She has won like $150,000 doing game shows. She has a lot of talent, has great spirit. The main thing when I had her first, her voice was all, every time she started to act, she got into her Sandy School voice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I managed to bring this down. And she's now uh, been in Los Angeles and has several parts, and she's got one of the parts in this movie, and she do a terrific job. Where are Tomcat and Colette? Christine uh, is a unique talent. He has the talent of Robin Williams. Uh, he's a wonderful actor for a director. Whatever you give him, he played a dog here. And uh, he has so much imagination and he again brings, uh, becomes the character. It's just unique to watch him. And uh, he has, he's in the wrong place. He should not be here. He should be in LA or New York. This guy is a phenomenal talent and uh, particularly in the Robin Williams kind of scene. He can act at the same time he has the tremendous comedic uh, ability. And it's really weird that I ended up doing the movie considering I don't speak English. And, uh, but I did Hamlet in Danish and I have a very good Shakespearean background. But uh, I can't pronounce the words or anything like that. So I'm the most unlikely person to do this. Working with Jorn, I've met Jorn in February in the acting workshop and I immediately was fascinated because without him knowing it, he just did the best thing for me. He put me on the spot. I've always wanted to be an actress, I've always wanted to be a singer and I've studied and studied and studied, but the transition from studying to actually doing it and working in it was something that I was a little bit shy about. But with Jorn, you come into the acting workshop, okay. Who's got something? Do it! And there is no hesitation, you just go there and in this whole thing of stepping up and doing it, it just, it happens so fast. I was doing a small play off Broadway and um, I guess Jorn came to see it. I was out in front chatting up this beautiful blonde and, and he came in and 
sort of stuck his nose in the conversation. I realized, well, she was married, and that was his husband, her, his husband, and the whole thing didn't start off that well, but the relationship kicked right in. Jorn, uh, Jorn is one of the funniest people I know. Uh, he's also one of the most demanding people that I know. And one thing about Jorn is when he believes in you, and uh, when he believes in you and you see that, that you buy into what he's telling you, um, he, he will back you no matter what. His critiques have been very, very um, specific and helped me a lot in developing my acting. And um, to be introduced to the possibility of being part of a movie was great. And then t to be in the auditions and to be casted was fantastic. And now working with him on set is an adventure again. I'll tell you, since I've met him, I've learned a whole bunch. Uh, you know, he's been in this industry a long time, and uh, anything I can get out of him, uh, I really just soak it up. I've worked with Jorn for a little over a year. I started taking acting classes with him through uh, P. Swift, Palm Springs Women in Film and Television, and was introduced to him through Leanna Bonamici. And he's just, you know, so, so, creative and wow to watch him work is such a process and i told him that i was moving to los angeles and he said i've got several part projects i believe you could be excellent for so we met up again here i came to los angeles and um he brought up a couple of projects including this one i said it sounds just bizarre enough for me to take so here i am it's very bizarre i've heard of yorn around the the valley and obviously he has a very distinguished career and i know he's been doing a lot in the valley uh, recently and so i know he teaches and i've heard of people who've been studying with him and uh, when the opportunity came up to you know audition for this for this movie i thought it would be wonderful because of, of his background he's for me he's just wonderful to work with his passion for acting and just for movie making or for play directing creating scenes, creating moments, is it's infectious. And he's very easy to talk to, and, uh, but at the same time, he, he pushes you. And um, he pushes you in a way that makes you not want to mess up for him. Looking over everybody's shoulder is a great reward, and I'm learning a lot, and especially from him. Yeah, I've learned a lot from him, and uh, he's definitely guided me in a great way. Um, Thank you, Yorn. Definitely. This is my my third project with him, and uh, he, he's great. And, and he he helped he he's helped me out a lot just in making connections. And you know he knows a lot of people. He's been working for a long time, and um, he's someone who, if I need advice, he's the first person I call. It's nice having a director who trusts you and trusts your instincts, and you get up there and you just make choices. And then after the cut, you know he pull you aside, and you know, we'll just dialogue a little bit about it. But always very supportive, always very engaging, and uh, and and when he's happy, you see it, and then you know you're on the right track. So it's it's been a, just a, a pleasure working with Yorn. It was a, really a unique kind of journey. The language is like unbelievable. Malcolm has a wild mind, and it's very unique. It's definitely something that people have not seen before.